this is the channel Hot Pink Zebra Polish. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I just am going to take a couple seconds and explain just kind of my upload schedule and what you can expect on my channel. I upload a minimum of three times a week on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And then once a month, the third Thursday of the month, I have live classes. And my videos are very extreme. They're 3D, 4D nail art. I sometimes throw some other things in. Occasionally you might find a makeup video. Not too often, but every once in a while I do change it up a little bit in different body art and art in general. I hope you guys love this. We have little glimpses of this one's life at the end of some of my videos. You'll find those with the name Melody Minutes on the end of the title. And otherwise, enjoy this video that's all about my favorite thing, hot pink and zebra print. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! So to begin with, I'm going to be fitting the form to my nail and I'm going to place the little tab underneath to add some more support, roll it between my fingers, pinch it closed to make it symmetrical, open up the back and fit it to my thumb. That's my basic quick method of attaching a nail form. If you really wanna go in, in depth on it, then you can also cut out the sides and really get it a perfect, perfect fit. So now we're going to be creating a base on the nail with some clear acrylic. The purpose of this particular layer is just to add the length. So we're going to be sculpting out the length and then I'm also going to use it as a base coat on the whole nail. So I like to brush just a very thin layer of clear acrylic over the whole thing. The little helpful thing with that is that if you do have a layer of clear acrylic over the entire nail as a base, when you go to file and redo this set in two, three, four, five weeks, then you have something to file down to. You don't have to completely redo the set when you go to do it. So now I'm going to be on my thumbnail and my ring, I'm going to apply some white acrylic down one side of the nail, trying to do it in one bead so that you don't have to have different sections that are at different levels of curing. So then after you have that done, dip a craft knife into some acrylic powder and very carefully cut away to create a straight line. And when you're doing that, be very, very cautious, especially if you're doing this on somebody else, you don't wanna have any accidental cuts. And then after you have it cleaned up, I'm being extra daring and I'm cleaning up my cuticle area as well. But then we're going to file the edge to make sure that that line is super sharp and super crisp. And then I'm going to fill in the other side on my thumb with some black acrylic going all the way up and really tucking that black acrylic in around the cuticle area. And if it goes over the white, that isn't a problem at all. It'll all be filed super sharp and super clean in a minute so if it does go over don't sweat it in fact it actually ends up usually revealing a nicer line if you do go over the top with the second color but then file this into shape with your e-file making sure that the nail has a nice apex in it blend it down at the cuticle so on and so forth just to really finish the nail and now with some black acrylic paint we get to do our zebra print which is one of my favorite things to paint so we're going to be doing a very thin zebra print pattern because it is just in the half of the nail and if you try to do a pattern that is too large, it may not come off as zebra print, it may just come off as slightly uneven stripes. So if you want it to really look zebra print, try to keep the stripes on the thin side and just go over and do all of them. I, like I said, I'm using acrylic paint for this. I really like to use acrylic paint for something like zebra print because it, I think it has a little bit better control for getting these really thin, very delicate lines. After I have my print done, I'm going to take some silver gel paint and add one stripe through the black area. Now on my middle nail, I'm going to be applying an overlay of white acrylic over the entire nail just to create a base layer. If you're somebody that doesn't like to sculpt with acrylic, this whole set could very easily be done with, say, gel polish or even regular polish instead over the top of a natural nail or over an enhancement. So if you don't really care to do as much as I am with acrylic, then that isn't a problem whatsoever. There's always other options. There's more than one way to do almost anything. So we've got our basic little enhancement sculpted with our white. And then after it's filed, I'm going to be painting my zebra face. So I'm going to do just the zebra eye in the center of the nail. And then after I have that done, I'm going to start building the stripes off of it and just kind of do it slow and steady and try not to rush it. The thing with doing this type of a zebra face is that the stripes really indicate kind of the different shape of the face. So each stripe has a story to tell in a way, if you wanna think about it like that. And it's helping you and helping your eye see the shape of the zebra's head. So don't rush the stripes and don't try to just make a guess as to what they would look like. Look at some photos of zebras, look at some different zebra art. There's plenty on the internet if you are lacking inspiration and you can definitely just find some of the way that a zebra's stripes on their face look. And then obviously try to your best to mimic them. 
And I always say try your best because if it's not perfect, nobody's ever going to know, especially with this. As long as you kind of get the, the vibe down, not a problem. So we're going to be doing our little zebra stripes, not doing an outline on the side where they end, just kind of letting it be open air. And then add a little bit of a white highlight in our zebra's eye, and that one's done. Now on the index nail and the pinky nail, we're going to be sculpting a nail bed with Cover Pink Acrylic. This will be for the base of our French tip. And when you're sculpting the nail bed, I always like to mention this uh, now that I have it done. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I do live classes. And if you want to see some of the back ones, I do a playlist of all my live classes that I've done. The first one I did was all on um, acrylic basics. And one thing that we really went over in depth was sculpting French tips. And so if you struggle with that, definitely head over and check out that video. I'll put a link to it in the description box below, as well as information for signing up for my classes. But then we're going to file the nail, or file the smile line into shape with a, a nail file, and then fill in the tip on our index nail with the brightest, glitteriest pink I have. I absolutely love this color. It is super intense. It is the color Lovely Pink from Double Dip, and it's just one of my favorites. But then we're going to be filing that nail into shape. Again, this is going to reveal that super beautiful smile line. And there's almost nothing as satisfying as filing a nail that's a French into shape and seeing that smile line come through. It's just, it's one of my favorite things because it's so rewarding. And then we're going to paint a very narrow silver outline right along the proximal fold with silver gel paint. And then on our pinky nail, filling in the tip with black acrylic. So all this whole design is done with black, white, and pink. I love that color combination, obviously, with my channel name. I would have to, you would think. And it just is such a vivid and just a classic combination to me. But then we're going to file the pinky nail into shape. And now on the ring nail, we're going to be filling in the side opposite the white with that really sparkly pink. And just kind of going down, same thing, overlapping the white a little bit because that isn't going to hurt anything. In fact, it would only help things. And just filling in that other side with pink instead of black like the thumb. And then after that's done, you guessed it, we're going to file it just to reveal that beautiful, sharp, crisp white line. And then after that's filed and it's all smoothed out, then we're actually going to cover up our line with some black paint and just add a straight vertical line down the center of the nail and then a silver line down within the middle of the black one. And then after that's done, I'm going to apply some jewelry gel down that line just a little ways and then apply some matte gel top coat over all of the nails. So for this particular set, I wanted the silver gel paint to be the only thing that was shiny. So I'm not actually going to cover up the silver gel paint on the index and the pinky nail because I'm, you know, I'd cover it up with some glossy gel top coat in a minute anyway. So if I just go up to that, then that's close enough. And then it doesn't add too much bulkiness right along the cuticle. And after you have all that done, then you can press a pink, a black, and a silver crystal into the gel, uh, the jeweler gel that is on the ring nail. And then once that's cured, apply the glossy gel top coat over the silver gel paint. And that's going to be the thumb, the index, the ring, and the pinky nails. There's a little highlight of that silver glitter. And then that's it. After that's cured, these are all done. I hope you guys love them as much as I do. Like I said, these really just describe my personal style. And I, you know, I'm just so excited to have all of these new viewers. And I would strongly encourage you to subscribe to my channel because we do all sorts of fun stuff here. And just be part of my fun little online community. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.